These days, most people have flown at least once. But do you really know what goes on behind the scenes? You may be surprised by some of it. In fact, I can almost guarantee that you will be. I'm Mike with List 25, and from cleanliness to baggage, here at 25 Secrets, flight attendants know that you don't. Twenty-five. Don't interlock your fingers over your head in a duck and cover situation. This way, if something falls on your head, you still have one good hand to use. 24. Count the rows to the nearest exit, because if there is an emergency, you probably won't be able to see very well. Smoke. 23. Planes often transport bodies in the cargo hold. The thing about bodies is they can leak. And yes, it can get on the suitcases. Keep in mind, however, that leaky fish is a more common issue. 22. Most technical delays are actually caused by passengers. Throwing fits, being late, arguing with desk agents, etc. 21. Miracle passengers are those that need a wheelchair during boarding, to skip the front of the line, but then don't need it to get off, so they don't have to wait to be wheeled out. Flight attendants call them miracles because apparently they get healed mid-flight. 20. It's nearly impossible for turbulence to crash a plane. The real danger is things flying around the cabin. 19. Commercial airlines can fly with only one engine. 18. Most crashes happen during takeoff and landing, not mid-flight. 17. The altitude thins your blood, so alcohol hits you harder. The common saying is that one drink in the air is worth two on the ground. 16. People change baby diapers on the tray tables quite often. 15. Airline personnel can easily work six days in a row with minimum rest, and this includes the pilots. 14. Flight attendants only get paid from the time the doors close and the plane pushes away to the time the doors open again. So, if it takes forever to get seated, the flight attendants aren't getting paid. 13. Other airport personnel have a derogatory term for baggage handlers. Ramp rats. 12. Some newer planes have a hold in the cabin for people who die mid-flight. 11. If the flight attendant feels uncomfortable with a the passenger, they can tell the pilot and the passenger will most likely be removed from the plane. So don't act like a massive jerk. 10. If an engine catches fire, they can extinguish it mid-flight. And even if they don't manage to, the engine is designed to burn up and fall off without affecting the wing. 9. The plane is probably broken somewhere. Not enough to be a flight hazard, but definitely broken. 8. Keep your shoes on. Seriously, the floor is filthy. Someone almost certainly vomited right next to wherever you're sitting. 7. Bags marked fragile get thrown around just as hard. 6. On short flights, the planes often have less than an hour to turn around, so things don't get cleaned very thoroughly. 5. You haven't seen bad turbulence until people start hitting the ceiling and bags start falling on your head. 4. If the cabin loses pressure, you only have a few seconds before it starts getting to your head, so put your mask on, quickly. 3. If you're on a long flight with multiple connections, try taking a shower in the airport. It'll work wonders on your mindset. If you can't do that, however, even a change of clothes will help. 2. Staying up a bit longer before a long flight will help you knock out during the trip. This can be especially useful if you're a nervous flyer. 1. Flying is by far the safest mode of travel. In the US alone, more than 30,000 people die in car accidents every year. That's almost 100 people every day. Most years, at least in the United States, zero people die in commercial airline accidents. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. 
And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here, or just head to our website at list25.com.